Okay. Uh, it's been a year since I've picked up where I left off in this game series. But um, I think I'm in the mood again, so we'll pick it up where we left off. Me and the fellas need to talk business, so you're going to look after my girl for the evening. Hey, Maria! Move your butt! Dumbra does this every time. And here she is, the one and only Queen of Sheba. What were you doing up there? Whatever it was, I bet it cost me money. Well, you don't think I hang around here for the conversation, do you? Get in the car and keep your big mouth shut. Take the limo, but bring it back in one piece, you hear me? And watch her. She can be trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure your new lapdog has everything covered. And isn't he big and strong? Hey, fighter, let's go visit Chico and get some party treats. He's at the rail station at the Chinatown waterfront, I think. I'm getting some weird lag every time I record, by the way. Game. All right. We'll just, uh... Yeah, I was getting some... I was recording this yesterday, and I didn't get too far, thankfully. And I say thankfully because I decided to stop because I was getting weird lag. And as you can see, there's still some stuttering. But it's only when I record. And I tested out NVIDIA Shadow Play, which is what I'm using now. And I tested out OBS, Open Broadcasting Software, whatever the hell it is. Um, yeah, so... But it's not, not as bad now. I freed up a gigabyte and a half of RAM space using a tool. So... Yeah, we'll figure it out. Ah, mira, it's my favorite lady. You looking for some fun? A little mm, some spank? Hey, Chico. Nah, just the usual. Here you go, lady. Hey, maybe you should check out the warehouse party at the East End of Atlanta Keys. Mm, thanks, Chico. See you around. Gracias. And enjoy. That's good stuff. Come on, fighter, let's go and check out this party. Alright, fighter, you wait here and look after the car while I go and shoot my butt, right? I didn't even realize I have two stars. It's two two police stars then. Whatever. We got our way of it. Ten grand. Um, I have to check the recording and deal with this lag right now. So just give me a second. yeah, just give me a second. Leave us alone for a minute. The Colombian cartel is making spank somewhere in Liberty, but we don't know where, and they seem to know everything we're doing before we do. We got us a rat. There's a guy named Curly Bob works the bar at Luigi's. He's been throwing more money around than he's earning. He ain't pimping or pushing, so he must be talking. He usually gets a taxi home after work, so follow him. And if he's ratting us out, kill him.
Okay. Uh, while I'm playing this, I fixed it, by the way. The solution, don't record to the same drive that the game is in. Which is really good information to know now. Um, and it's going to affect how I do things moving forward. Because now, I'm not going to have this lag problem. So. Anyway. Um... Let me, uh... I, okay, so I'll, I'll just start talking. I recently completed Vice City Stories. Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. I played the whole storyline, and I beat it. And I did all the businesses. I maxed out every uh, reputation for each business type. Um, but I recently came across... Well, I played on an emulator. I owned a physical copy of the game. Of ridiculous. Hold on a sec. I, uh, I have physical copies of Vice City Stories and Liberty City Stories for the PlayStation and everything, but um, I've been playing them on emulators lately, but I recently came across PC ports of the games made by a fan, a fan of the games, so I might use those. The plan was, if I do play them, I'll record the emulators, which, strong, strong chance I'll still do it that way, but the other option is I record those PC versions. And uh, I think that's what I'll do if I decide to play them. Um, yeah. So, there we, there we go. Um, I don't know if I have the stomach to really go all the way through San Andreas. First of all, who's going to watch that? Like, here's the thing. I have to think, okay, who's going to watch this stuff? I, I, I already, I, I've, I've dedicated now myself to Grand Theft Auto 3, to completing it, to finishing it, again, like for YouTube. And then I want to see what else is fun. But thankfully, I do have like a viewer base. Lately, I've been getting. Silly. Finally. Jesus. Here comes our little friend, Mr. Big Mouth himself. Were you followed? You know what goes on here is our little secret, I'm No, no, I, I wasn't followed. You got my stuff? Here's your spank, Squealer. Now talk. Okay, so the Leones are fighting wars on two fronts. They're in a turf war with the triads, with no sign of either side giving up. Meanwhile, Joey Leone has stirred up some bad blood with the Forellis. Every day they're losing men and influence in the city. Salvatore's becoming dangerous and paranoid. He expects everybody and everything. And with loyalty like yours, what has he possibly got to worry about? Okay, well, time to kill him. I'm just gonna do it as fast as possible. Pretty sure he has a shotgun for no fucking reason. Man. Excellent. Okay. We got deeper news. I've got some urgent work for you, Tony Cipriani. Okay. Well, let's check on Joey first. And then we'll check on Tony's, uh, work. Oh. That skunk in the trunk. All right. Beautiful. Just beautiful. All right, just the guy I need to talk to. All right, there's a car stuffed with a stiff at the cafe near Callahan Point. One of the Ferrellis thought he was a wise guy, so he got what he had coming to him. Take the corpse to the crusher in Harwood, all right? Okay. <laughs> I really look forward to getting near the end of this game. Or just, you know, get into some of the more fun missions. Um... Yeah. Oh, anyways, uh... 
yeah, so I, um, I'll complete this game, we'll see about the other Grand Theft Auto games, some of the other ones that I could play, record, and have fun playing, etc. Right, there's a body in here. Okay. I'm not gonna get attacked, am I? <laughs> don't, don't kamikaze me, damn it. This is, I think, the most appropriate music that we could have got for this mission. Oh my god. Is a... Yeah, so there is a dead guy right there. Right there. Oh, I'm still getting chased by the fucking Ferrelli brothers. Okay, well, that's lovely. I mean... Okay, let's just... just keep going. I think that last piece really says something important about texture, don't you? I like to listen to this next movement while enjoying a fine Chardonnay and a warm glee at my summer retreat in the Catskill. It's mother... Okay. Done. I guess they're done. Okay. Alright. I think canonically this should be the first time we use that uh, vehicle crusher, but we did use it before. Let me, let me save the game and uh, check check the just recording one more time because I went on for a while. I fucked it up a few times. What's up, uh, Tony here? Oh, it's you. Tony ain't here. But he left one of his sugary love letters for We're you. We're at war. The Triads have a fish factory as a front. Most of their business goes down at the fish market in Chinatown. The laundry still owes us protection. They reckon the triads are protecting them now, so I say we exact a fitting punishment. Take those boys over and whack the triad warlords. Hell, if you get a chance, pop some of their soldiers, too. Did not get him in the car? Hold on, I just... Hey, you wanna get in the car? I guess not. Alright, I guess we just get a couple guys with us. Um... Okay! Now, do they shoot out the window? It's not. Alright, I guess it's just me. Now the shotgun is kind of like a rifle. Yeah. I don't recall that being the case. Oh, 
such a full war between the triads and the monster. There's a... <laughs> I know a good way to do this. Remember, the shotgun has a ridiculous range on it. I'll kill you, tough guy. Okay, I've had enough of this shit. We're gonna finish the triads and liberty once and for all. Eight balls rigged a dust cart with a bomb. It's on a timer. So if you mess up, there'll be no evidence. Go and pick up the dust cart. Careful. Eight ball says it's real sensitive, and the slightest bump could set that thing off. Their fish factory will open its gates for a dust cart. So you can drive right in, park up between the gas canisters, and get the hell out of there. I want it to rain mackerel. We're talking real biblical here. Nothing low budget. be fat a day longer than you have to. Remember, being fat can even ruin a romantic cruise. Call Dormatron now at 1-800-SLEEP-OFF-LARD or visit www.sleepofflard.com and sleep your way to a thinner, happier you. In today's fast pace... There's a hidden package here. Yep. More Americans are real... We gotta be very careful. Have a daddy to look up. Don't flip it. Don't flip the car over. <laughs> <laughs> 